That's not even the bright mode. Hey guys, so as you saw in the last video, the aluminum prototype didn't work quite as well as we had hoped. So we actually went back to the drawing board and redesigned it a bit. Unfortunately, we're pretty pressed for time because Batman's coming out this week now. So what we ended up doing was we actually machined the new one out of an engineering plastic. Now this is actually plastic that we got for free last year. You can check out that video here. It's practically bulletproof. So this plastic was much quicker to machine. I believe doing the whole thing was only about three or four hours. And as you can see, um, we've modified the design a bit. And the cool part is we've added all these dowel pins. And what that means is we can vary the friction very easily because we decide how many loops we want to go around the dowel pins, which can change the uh, friction zone. The other big change with this design is that when the rope passes through the end part, it actually pinches at the back and in the other spot. All right, so I'm gonna pass this off to Ian now to do the first tests, because I'm off to powder coat our grappling hooks. Matte black, they're gonna look awesome. Started working, but I double stringed it, so it's uh, there you go. The plastic, we've already broken it, but the plastic machines a lot faster. So for the prototype, I just did it all out of plastic. See right here, here's the piece that broke off. This piece is supposed to be aluminum, just this little piece. That would probably take another hour. Just that little piece. There'd be machine setup and all sorts of other stuff, but. All right, so Ian just finished machining the new aluminum part for the lever because when we were testing the very first one made out of plastic, it broke and we had to replace it with this little bolt. It didn't work so well. So we've got this aluminum one now. Let's put it back together and see if it does the trick. All right, so as you can see from those last test videos, the design finally works. Uh, this was a pretty rushed project. I mean, we only started a few weeks ago, and I'm sure there's lots more design iterations we can do to make this even better. But it works. Uh, we added a, a rubber uh, band in the system to try and reduce the dynamic load a bit, and we haven't had the rope snap again yet. Um, a future design, we're thinking of using larger Kevlar rope. There's stuff you can get which is two or 3,000 pound capacity which should be able to do a bit better with dynamic loads. Next video, we're going to put all the parts together and get ready for the big test. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.